What is going on? Outlaws Death here, and today we're going to be talking about a role a lot of you have been asking and talking about. That is the wagon driver slash transporter role. Now, let's break down everything that this role has to offer. First off, it would focus around all the different types of wagons in the game. Not only that, but in itself, it would offer a lot more. It could establish delivery routes for goods, weaponry, civilian NPC, which could scale depending on their social rank. For example, you could get a mission to take a target from Valentine to St. Denis, and whether it's a simple civilian, a businessman, or a politician, you could have more raiders coming to you know take them out or kidnap them and you'll have to fight them off so this on its own gives a whole bunch of new activities to do on the map and it gives an actual use to all the wagons going about now what else could this role offer it could establish trade routes as free roam events for example nobody really has to use to compete with their wagons or maybe even speed things up as they travel along the map but adding trade routes that puts players in their wagon and puts them to go to different locations and whoever gets there first gets the highest you know amount of money per se the highest pay for their goods would really make an interesting event now, how could the civilian NPC work with the social scaling? Well, the harder the mission means, the more value the civilian has. A simple civilian, which is someone you pick up on the street that you have to take somewhere, like a doctor or a lawyer, doesn't really require that much you know, backup. But if you're taking a businessman like Mr. Cornwell, or if you're taking a politician like the governor of St. Denis, there's going to be a lot of people after you. We're doing a legendary bounty right now, matter of fact, that deals with someone trying to kill the governor of St. Denis. So this alone is very interesting. Now, wagon customization. This is something that a lot of us want to talk about, the, the ability to change the color of our wagon, put custom decals as you can see right here, put better tires, change the freaking horses. I know you guys really want to put horses, especially if we have so many freaking horses. You want to be able to change the horses. So the idea is being able to change our lights, the color of the wagon, add stickers, add decals, different tires, and as I said before, the whole idea behind the transporter, if implemented correctly, does give a lot more life to the world of RDR2 Online. Not only with the ability for actual customizations for one of our vehicles, but also the fact that the maps will be a lot more active seeing players delivering good NPCs or maybe doing special events for this role. So with that being said, remember I have a whole bunch of videos regarding different roles that could be coming to RDR2 Online, so make sure to check those out and if you have any idea for future roles let me know in the comment section below for now make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more rdr2 content and i'll see you guys next time your boy death gun out